video today we're going to be replacing the window regulator on the Chevy Silverado 2500 6.6 .6 LBZ and I already went ahead and replaced the other side so with this side it's going to be the exact same thing as the opposite side so without further ado let's get into it so you're going to remove the lock so you're going to pop this out cool take it off pop this off too and then down here you're going to have one screw and it's going to be a 930 seconds. All right, once you're done with that, you want to go ahead and pull up and then out. And then you want to go ahead and disconnect your window switch. So on the switch, when it's, get, it's connected like this, you want to go ahead and try to hit this tab right here so you can release it. Okay, next step, you want to go ahead and peel off the plastic around the that holds the window regulator. To take off the window regulator, they're gonna be 10 millimeter bolts. It's gonna be one here, one here for the window, another one down here. It's gonna be one right here, one that holds on the motor. It's gonna be another one here for the regulator and there's gonna be another one for the window. I'm going to loosen all of them and I'm going to leave these two last. Loosen everything, get like a little piece of wood so you can wedge in between here and just hold the, the window up so it won't slide down. And once you release it from here, it's going to fall down. So try to get some piece of wood or something just to hold it up or somebody can just hold the window up. Once you got your piece of wood holding in the window in place, go ahead and take it off. Also, don't forget to unplug your electric connection for the motor. So the same way. So we're going to put it in, fold it in, just like this. This is going to sit on the left side, so that's going to sit on the right. So once you get it in, you want to remove this tab on the bottom. If you guys are having issues lining up the bolts, Install the bottom piece first down here, and then you go ahead and line up the motor. You want to loosen on both sides uh, the rails for the window. After you do that, you can take whatever's holding your window and then just slide it into place. There's a gap on this side, there's no gap on this side, so you want to level it where it should go, and then you want to tighten it right there. And once you're happy, go ahead and tighten it up. So now before you put everything back together, go ahead and test it. You can pull this switch off or leave it in there. It doesn't matter. But you just go connect it real quick. And you can verify everything's working the way it should. Once you're happy with everything, go ahead and put everything back together. One thing to note, the holes right here and down here, they don't really line up that great. So just something to keep in mind before you end up buying this window regulator. And that's the same thing on both sides. So that's what's gonna happen when you buy a window regulator that's aftermarket, not OEM. But for, I mean, for the price that you're paying for this, I mean, it's it's a great buy, honestly. So that's the only, only thing. I mean, it still works given the fact that they don't line up, but I mean, it's still, it is what it is. It still works, so just keep that in mind. Now, you wanna go ahead and put your plastic back on. All right, go ahead and put your panel back on. So just keep in mind when you put it back on, these gotta go in first, down here. And these up here gotta line up with these holes over here. Right here. So just keep that in mind when you put it in. Line up down here. Go ahead and put everything back together. All right, after you get everything back together, all your moldings are in, your panel's in, everything's in, go ahead and get, it, get uh, turn the ignition on, give it power, roll it down, make sure everything goes down, make sure everything goes up, nothing gets caught, and that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.